Today we're going to make a character in Procreate using my new updated brush pack. Uh, I've added five new brushes to it, so if you were interested in picking this up, you could go over and pick that up either on Gumroad or it's also on my Patreon store, so either they're both the same price, so it doesn't really matter which one you go. And the people who have already bought it, you can just go download the new version of it for free and get five new brushes. So having said that, let's get started. We're going to create a uh, funny little character today. I'm going to start off with my Chamel sketch brush. And we're going to maybe start off with his head. Maybe kind of like a potato head in a way. And then two eyes. I'm going to hold my pen down so I can get a good circle. And then let's freehand that eye and copy paste it. And then we can move that one we just copied over there. Maybe right there. All right. And then we need to pinch those together so we have everything on one layer. All right, I'm going to do a nose, kind of like that. And do an ear. I'm going to do a real small ear to make it look funny. So something like that. Two little eyeballs. And we, I want them to have a mustache, so... Be like that and then this one over here I'll look smaller mm. that's good enough no don't go away okay I'm gonna do a little mouth right here and then he's gonna have a, a double chin right there maybe That. This is just our sketch for right now. We're just trying to figure out what we want to do. So, we yeah, have a little mustache there, maybe a couple of wrinkles on his eyes, like that. Maybe an eyebrows, looking silly. All right, and the hair, he's going to have some hair coming down, like right here. And he's going to have like a little part right there. And the rest is going to go over here on this side. So, that's kind of how I want his hair to be. Okay, and he's going to be, what's he going to be doing? Maybe exercising. We'll put his arms coming out to the side here. Yeah, that's better. All right, and he's going to have a, kind of a big stomach because that's why he's exercising. He needs to lose some weight. And I think I'm going to shorten this one up a little bit. It's about right there. Yeah, that's good. Alright, and he's quite big, so we need to resize him. He's going to be in his boxer shorts. move it over just a little bit all right and then he's gonna have two skinny legs maybe he's gonna be doing some squats or something and high socks all right, and then maybe something like this down to there 
maybe. And then when we see his hand's gonna be off, maybe he's gonna have his thumb sticking out here. So, yeah, something like that is what I'm looking for. All right, that's fine. There's our sketch. Okay, I'm gonna turn my sketch down. About 7%. And we're going to create a new layer and drag it under our sketch layer. Now this is going to be the, the real thing. Um, I don't want thick black lines around him. So I am going to go to like a light gray color maybe. And then we're going to continue with that Chamel sketch brush. So let's do head here. And don't worry about not being perfect because we want a little variation in the lines to give it kind of a character. As long as the continuity is still there, if we have some little lines like that, little extra lines, that's fine. It makes it look a little bit more stylized, I guess. All right, so I'm just gonna bring his head over here. Lopsided head. Anyway, he's gonna have some hair on top of there anyway, later on. All right, and let's do his nose here. And then mustache over there, and one right here. I'm going to hold my pen down and touch it with my other finger to make a perfect circle. Okay, and maybe have some wrinkles under his eyes there. Alright, and two little pupils there. Alright, so the, the head is fine. Let's do his shirt now. Okay, and then this side. All right, looks good. Okay, so the shirt's gonna come down here barrel chest here okay and then the boxer shorts and we'll do a loop to connect those okay and then this bony little legs and have some high black socks on and then over here Okay, and some high socks and some shoes. All right, I think that's what we're gonna go with. So I like how he turned off. Let me fix his head here on this side. There we go. Anyway, his hair is gonna be covering up a lopsided head anyways. All right, so that is what we're gonna go with. And now let's start with some coloring. So I am going to Turn off my sketch, and we're gonna start a new layer under the line layer here. So if we want to label this as lines, then we can label this one as sketch. We don't want to select it. Rename sketch. Okay, and all right. Let's start. We can do a, like a little skin color here. We're gonna do all of his skin parts. So again, I'm still on the channel sketch brush. So what you're gonna do is just go around the edges here. So I went a little bit out, but that's fine. What makes these type of 
illustrations unique is the imperfections in them, I, I think. Especially for a children book. Alright, let's do this arm. I'm going to close these off. Alright, and then his legs. Make sure you close those off too. Alright, now if you go to automatic select, we click inside these, we should be able to there we go. Alright, we're definitely going to have some lines in them, so I'm going to drag and drop all of these parts. Make them bigger so I don't hit that line. Here we go, and I'm going to unselect it. Now we're going to fix all these. got all of the skin colors in so let's do some shading on his skin now so what you're gonna do is you're going to start a new layer on top of that one we're gonna set the blending mode to multiply and then you're going to set that layer on top to clipping mask that way it will only color on the uh, parts that we've got so only the parts that are already colored in and we're going to change our brush we're going to go to one of the new brushes in the pack and that's called the uh, granular shadows brush and I am going to be thinking that my light is coming from maybe above so below is the, on everything will be the shadows all right so let's do maybe his face first so let's see here let me make the brush a little bigger I'm at 22% right here I'm just gonna draw in some shadows definitely that ear and this ear all right and I'll rush a little smaller maybe 12 percent and probably around the bottom of the nose and then under the mustache around the eyes that for right now all right and then for the arms here so on the bottoms of them okay and then the legs maybe the bottom halves the same thing on this side kind of like that all right very good okay next let's go into his eyes so I'm gonna start a new layer and I'm gonna go to white and I'm gonna go back to my channel sketch pencil I'm gonna color in these eyes white And they're small, so I'm just going to go ahead and color it with a pencil instead of trying to drag and drop. Alright, and over here. Alright, looking good. And let's do, on top of that layer, let's do black. I'm going to do his little eyeballs here in the middle. I think I won't. Alright. set this line layer to multiply let's see what happens when we do the eyeballs now yeah that's better all right so there's his eyeballs so looking good so let's do maybe some hair next and I am going to stay on my sketch brush for right now so we're gonna have some 
was too big. Got some hair coming down on this side. And then he's gonna have some hairs sticking up. And then on this side it's gonna come over here. I think that's good. All right, uh, let's see. Do his mustache next, I guess. So I'm gonna do that also with my Shamble sketch pencil. I just now noticed I did the eyes and the hair on the same layer, but that's fine. Let me do a new layer on top of the skin. this mustache in. Okay, I'm just gonna color it in like I did the eyes. Alright, Jamble sketch brush again make it really thin yeah I think that's much better I just make some little hair marks yeah that's much better I thought I'd try it out see what it looked like but yeah it didn't work too well all right that's good maybe we'll do a little bit of gray in his hair too or maybe we need a new layer Put a few gray strips in his hair too okay that's good enough all right uh, next let's do his shirt so we're gonna start a new layer and it's gonna be I think under the skin I'm gonna drag that to the bottom and his t-shirt is what color can we make his t-shirt let's do a gray color maybe that and I'm gonna go to my Let's try one of the new brushes. Let's do the fill brush. All right, and I'll make it a little bit bigger. And then on these sections where we went over, we can just go to our eraser and get rid of those overlaps. Not that big of a deal. Yep. Okay, I'm not sure if I like that dark. Maybe we will hit your little adjustment tool and go to U saturation. Let's desaturate that a bit and maybe turn the brightness up on it. Maybe that color. I just want to make his t-shirt a little bit lighter. Maybe too dark. Alright, so now we're going to do a layer on top of the shirt. We're going to set it to multiply. And we're going to clipping mask. And then we're going to go to another one of the new brushes, which is granular shadows. And we're going to put some shadows on this t-shirt. So we're going to do, we make it a little bit bigger. We'll do some right here. Maybe along the bottom. And then the bottoms of the sleeves. So we said our light was coming from the top. Maybe right there. And under the chin.
All right, that looks good. And if you wanted to, you could go to your smudge tool. And I think I've got the, yeah, the same brush, the granular shadows from my smudge tool. And you can just kind of blend if you have any hard edges. Just kind of blend that out. Okay, happy with that. Okay, next let's do his shorts. So his boxer shorts are gonna be, I guess, under the shirt. So we'll start a new layer and drag it under the shirt. And the color, I think I want a blue. Maybe very light blue. Okay, we're gonna go to our Chemel sketch brush again. Make that bigger, and we're gonna outline these boxer shorts. And I can already tell I don't like this color, but we'll fix it. All right, and then let's let's do our fill brush. Okay, and then the same thing for this. I'm changing my eraser again. Let me change it to Anchor Streamliner. Alright, and Alright, that's all we need to fix. All right, uh, I'm gonna change this color up. So U saturation, we're gonna desaturate it. And yeah, something like that. Okay, and now let's go ahead and do some, a layer on top of that. Just set the blending mode to multiply and then clipping mask. All right, and now we're gonna change our brush to our granular shadows again, and we're gonna put some shadows on these shorts. Maybe right there and then around the belt line. Okay, and then maybe we can smudge some of this. Some more, a little bit darker granular shadows again. Okay. Looking good. Let's do his socks. So we're gonna we're gonna do his socks black, and we're just gonna do that all with the uh, channel sketch brush. Uh, maybe we need a new layer. Let's do. Don't really matter. Okay, and then this one here. good and then I want the shoes to be a little bit different color so I'm just gonna go up in the gray area a little bit more we can just see the separation of his socks and his shoes all right that's good and just like that all right and then maybe a layer on top of that multiply Brush, 
granular shadows. And then we got that gray color selected, so let's... Oops, we didn't clip it. Clipping mask. There we go. And... Put a little darkness on the bottom. Yep, good enough. All right, so he's looking good. Let's do some details now. So I'm gonna go for his eyes here. I'm gonna start a new layer under his eyes. And then I'm gonna set that layer to multiply. And I'm going to click this darker brownish color, darkish skinner, skin color. I'm gonna do some darker places under his eyes maybe in the ear like that maybe the bottoms of his nose and of course that chin and this ear over here and then maybe the hairline didn't clip it oh I don't have, I'm not clipping it to anything all right that's fine what we'll do is erase that kind of under his mustache here and to make the brush bigger and they kind of do it really lightly so we don't have these big open white patches yeah that's good okay and then I'm gonna erase this part that I went over all right that's good and I think we're gonna do some little bit darkers uh, maybe again under the eyes and this time I'm gonna go to a darker brown color and we're gonna go to the sketch pencil again channel sketch and go right around the eyes here here too all right and then we're going to smudge it just blend it in with the area around it where you can't see like a hard line just lightly scrubbing Alright, that's good. We do the same thing on the bottom of the nose here. And then maybe the mouth and the chin. Alright, let's smudge those. Alright, and I'm going to do the fill brush. You know what, I need to do that on a separate layer. So I'm going to put a new layer on top of that and then put in some red cheeks. Maybe on his nose too. Chin possibly. Fingers. Oops. Alright, and maybe his knees. Yeah, it's good. All right, and then let's smudge those a little bit. All right. okay looking good all right I think I'm pretty much finished with his face I mean you could you could do some more shadows and stuff and if you like or you could do some highlights so if you want to do a highlight what you could do is go to we're gonna put those skin colors together 
if I can do it. There we go. And I didn't mean to turn on alpha lock, but if we went above that skin and clipping mask and then maybe, I think, add, and then choose that lighter skin tone. So maybe there's some lighter parts on top of his ear and probably on his nose right here and on top of his chin. You just put where there might be some lighter colors. And then you can take your smudge, kind of blend that in. And if it was still too bright, you could just take the opacity down on it. Maybe like that. All right, good. Okay, let's do, let's, let's work on the shorts here some more. So I'm gonna put those two short layers together. I'm gonna start a new layer. And I want it above the shorts and we're gonna clip it, clipping mask. And I'm gonna change it to add. And I'm gonna select that light blue color right there. And we're gonna make some stripes. So I'm gonna go with my pencil again. Chamel sketch. And we're just gonna do some some lines and then we'll have some going across oops that's wide all right and that's a little bright so I'm gonna take that opacity down to about there all right, let's do a little bit more darker shadows on the shorts. I'm going to put those together. I'm going to do a layer on top. We're going to set it to multiply. And we're going to clip it. And let's see. All right, I'm going to go to the granular shadows. Maybe I like that. All right, and I think that is going to do it. I mean, again, if you wanted to add some highlights, you know, all you need to do is make a layer above it and then set it to add. And then maybe go into your granular shadow brush and hit the tops of where you think that might be. Where it might be lighter color. like that and then what you could do is you could either smudge it or you could just take the opacity down I'm just gonna take the opacity down there you can see and the same thing you can do on the shorts we wanted to add some highlights and then take the opacity down texture and then same thing on the face set it to add clipping mask it select that and then take the opacity down I'm going to go to a brown color here and back to my sketch pencil. I'm going to go around the eyes. Let me see what layer we need to be on. Maybe a new layer under the eyes. And then maybe in the ear here. Chin. 
let's change our background color. Maybe right there. Now you can see some of the places where we went outside. So I hope this has helped you to kind of know how to do your own character. They, I mean, it's a simple sketch. It's, it's not difficult at all. Uh, you can do it. I have faith in you. So having said that, if you have not subscribed, please do so. And if you're interested in the pack, again, go over on Gumroad or go over on the Patreon and you can pick that up. It has lots of brushes in it for a very cheap price. All right. So with that, see you guys next week. Take care.